on September 29, 2019, two days before the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. The 89-year-old Yuan Longping was awarded the Medal of Republic, the country's highest honor by President Xi Jinping for his extraordinary contribution to the nation's food security, the development of agricultural science, as well as global food supply. According to the 2019 State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World report, over 820 million people are suffering from hunger, and the world is facing huge challenges in achieving the Sustainable Development Goal of Zero Hunger by 2030. According to the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization, there are four dimensions to food security. Physical availability of food, economic and physical access to food, food utilization, stability of the other three dimensions over time. Between 1979 and 2005, China received food aid from the UN World Food Program, which benefited over 30 million people nationwide. Starting from 2016, the partnership between China and the World Food Program witnessed a total transformation. China turned from a major aid recipient to a leading aid donor, supporting millions of malnourished people beyond its borders. The development of science and technology is one of the driving forces behind this change. Yuan Longping is considered a pioneer in the field of food science and technology. He has dedicated himself to the research, application and promotion of hybrid rice. The super hybrid rice that his team cultivated can yield nearly 18.1 ton per hectare, setting a new world record. Hence, Yuan is regarded as the father of hybrid rice. In addition, Yuan is also leading the Saline Alkali Tolerant Rice Research and Development Center in Qingdao. Saline Alkali Tolerant Rice, commonly known as seawater rice, is a special type of rice grown in tidal flats and desert areas. China's planting of seawater rice began in 1986. With the continuous efforts of scientists, the cultivation of seawater rice has been successfully promoted to a national level, and by planting seawater rice and adopting soil improvement technologies, the previously barren alkali soil is now largely transformed into arable land. By adopting the latest technology, Yuan's team successfully cultivated and planted seawater rice in five different types of saline soil in China. The team also brought seawater rice to remote deserts in the Middle East. On July 22, 2018, Yuan's team conducted an experiment in planting seawater rice in desert areas in the Middle East. It is the world's first successful case of planting rice in the desert, a move that offers a solution to the global food security. I surprised actually, and this intelligence, in my, in my opinion, that they bring a lot of genotypes to evaluate under this. This is a start, good start. According to the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization, there are approximately 1 billion hectares of alkali land worldwide. Tongo 
，也是我们为全球人类命运共同体做出的一份贡献。